no, no! Ah! Huh, 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 huh. I wouldn't have done it if I knew this thing would come after me! Alright, I give up! Dude, it's not that big a deal. Please just... Oh, oh I'm here! Where is he? Oh, wow. He looks a lot smaller in this alley. That's what I was thinking. Two mech freaks? <laughs> we can talk this out, right, guys? Man, look how freaked out he is! This has got to be being a hammer, huh? A hammer? Uh, yeah, this morning I was a hammer, and now I'm not. <laughs> like a literal hammer? With no arms or legs? Wow, how'd you upgrade to this thing? You're not just trying to stall or distract us so you can run away, are you? No, I'm an honest criminal! Alright, it started this morning. So, why do we all have to get up so early? As you're all aware, we've recently made ourselves allies with the Imagined Order. Yep, totally the riskiest and dumbest decision you've ever made. We decided on it unanimously, Rick. Regardless, I thought it would be best for us to strengthen our numbers as much as possible in the event that our relationship with IO turned sour. What does that mean exactly? It means that I've asked Rick to place you in a new, more physically able body. You realize that's incredibly ableist, right? Is that something you can do, Rick? Uh, you see the can of worms you've opened now, Midas? Wait, have you been able to turn him back from a hammer this whole time? No, I'm not that mean. Uh, unfortunately, I can't create an entirely new body or transform his current body. Then how are you going to do it? Well, do you remember when you and Sonny went to that timeline that was a ton of Sunnies and Mortys? Wait, does that mean you made a way to get off this boring island and you didn't tell me? No, I think you're misunderstanding. I think I understand it just fine. Sonny, can you hold me closer to him, please? Uh, okay. I'll take that. Th thanks for nothing, Rick. See ya, Morty, don't! Are we in another dimension now? It looks exactly the same. Well, except for those guys. Is that us? Looks like it. Let's get out of here. Sure. Say, do you know how to use that thing to get us back to our actual dimension? Yeah. And do you remember how I put Midas in this fresh new flesh suit in this very garage? So what's the <clears throat> problem with that? Sounds easy enough. Not exactly. My body was fabricated to bring me back. Yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. You're, you're part robot. So, so what? Just make a new body and transfer your consciousness into it. Um, is that something you know how to do? Yeah, don't you? It's so easy. I could do it with a hand tied behind my back. All right, then. You ready, Dad? I suppose so. Though I would have preferred a different choice of attire. What do you think? Wow, you look great, Dad. It really worked. C come on, have a little more faith. It's actually quite remarkable. I can feel the sun on my skin again. Hooray, the Tin Man's got a real heart again. Don't hold your applause. Yeah? Of course. Okay, yeah, can you put two and two together now? And can you hold this? You're going to take a Morty from a different dimension and put me in his body. Yep. This seems really, uh, unethical. And gross. If I'd known he would take this approach, I would have never asked. Got him. Ah! Ew. Is he alive? No, of course not. Putting you in a body that's still being used would be so weird. I must ask, was he alive when you found him? No! Do you think I, I'd kill a Morty just so mine could have a pair of legs? Well, what kind of monster do you think I am? A bad one. Morty, do you want this or not? I could do it the no. same way I did do you, do you think I'd this kill a Morty like just so mine walls. could have a pair of legs? Yeah, well, all what right. kind of monster I'll do you do think I am? I'll do your weird transfer procedure thing. And is that a Meeseeks box on his back? Oh yeah, I'll have to confiscate that. Aw, oh, jeez. You know? This feels a lot more natural than I expected it to. Is that so? Would you like to try running? Yeah, it's like when you wear something that's kind of uncomfortable, but you don't notice how uncomfortable you are until you take it off. I'm not sure I understand what you mean. You've never had clothes that don't fit right? I don't believe I have. 
I hope this mech suit isn't like that. It feels really comfortable right now. I'm surprised you don't seem to need any time to adjust to using it. I assume another Rick invented this specifically for the other Morty. I don't have to do much at all to control it. Well, Rick said you should take the transition slowly, but seeing your progress is very encouraging. Yeah! I feel like I could fight a whole Chimera army in this thing. Is that so? Perhaps you're ready to work with Kit for some reflex training. Yeah? Bring it on! I'm so tall now! Hello! Hello, Kit. I have some unusual news for you. Oh no! Did those superheroes break something in Paul's cabin? Now, this is good news. Morty's got a new robot body similar to yours. <gasps> he does? That's amazing! Now he can walk and move all on his own! Indeed. He seems to be very good at those things already. Do you want me to help him do some reflex and motor control training? Ha! <laughs> That's a nice pun. Alright, how are you feeling? Tired? Energized? Thirsty? I feel great. I wonder where this thing gets energy from. Because I don't think it's me. You should get Jules to open it up and look around for a power source sometime. Now let's switch to Tai Chi to work on your motor controls. Oh, that's what you meant. I thought you were saying motor because it's a mecha. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm annoying you. I'm just so excited. You're not annoying. I felt the same way for the first day I got my real body. I'm happy for you. Thanks, Kit. You know, you're really... <laughs> Try and catch me now, little robot girl! What was that? Catman! Catman! Lexa, what's wrong? Hockey Man's man stole money from Lexa's register when she wasn't paying attention! And he ran away so fast! You want to put that new mecha to good use? Yep! Thank you, Robo Boys! So that's pretty much how we got here. Bet you were embarrassed you got outrun by a kid who's only had legs for a few hours. I have one question. What? How did they know you're the dude who used to be a hammer instead of the dude who was in that body all along? Oh, that's a good question, actually. Uh, I don't know. I'm pretty sure I'm me, though. You mean they didn't test you or anything? You know, like get you to say something only the real you would know? Uh, no. I'm not sure even what to say. I mean, I guess only I would know that Rick used to keep a few Cheez-Its in his pocket in case I got hungry. Oh, that's nice of him. Yeah, but you don't know which one of you are for sure, right? You could be a fake. I guess. We don't know. And now you'll always have that seed of doubt in your mind. <laughs> hey! All right, we're done talking. Give us the money you stole from Nexa. <laughs> worth it. Hey, next time you robo-freaks are out, can you make some high-pitched engine noise so I know not to steal anything? Thanks. G get out of here. I'm sorry about that, Morty. He was a jerk. It's okay. I shouldn't have started talking with him in the first place. Serves me right, eh? Hey, look on the bright side. You're a pro at using your new mecha suit. And we got Lex's money back. I gotta talk to Rick. I need to know if I'm the real me. Oh, hang on a sec. Hello? Hey, Kit. Is Morty still training with you? We're not training anymore, but he's still here. Do you want to talk with him? Yeah. Morty, if you can hear me, we need you to come down to Coral Castle. Why me? Don't you guys have Rick for important stuff like that? Rick's busy with other stuff. We need your help. How quickly can you get over here? It wouldn't take long to run over there. Yeah, he's super speedy now. And can I come too, Jules? Yeah, it's definitely a sight that's worth seeing. I'll see you guys soon. That seems like good news. I don't really understand why we need two separate analysts, though. Io has been controlling Rick's movements for months, and we have no idea where his true loyalties lie. Morty, on the other hand, is very compassionate and has no affiliation with Io. But as you've made very clear, we're supposed to be partners now. Yes, but they haven't earned any trust from me yet. That's not the only reason you made Rick give Morty a new body, is it? Hey guys! Wow! This place is totally ruined! They ripped the castle apart! Yes, we need your, uh, expertise to determine what they were looking for here. I've never been asked to come to a site like this. Uh, at least not in a way that isn't insulting. Don't worry, Morty. We'd never insult you. 